Hey everyone, and in this video, I'll be walking you through how to enable a VPN in Chrome so you can browse more privately, block annoying ads and pop-ups, and keep trackers off your back. Now I've tested a number of different options, but the three that stood out the most in terms of speed, security, and just how well they block trackers were ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Each one comes with its own Chrome extension, and I'll show you exactly how to install and use them in just a moment. And if you're interested in checking out any current pricing, discounts, or full reviews for these, you'll find those linked in the description below. So starting with ExpressVPN, the install process is pretty quick. You'll just head to their website, hover over Download VPN, and choose the Chrome extension. From there, you'll be redirected to the Chrome Web Store, where you can click Add to Chrome to install it. Once that's done, you'll see the ExpressVPN icon show up in your extensions menu near the top right of your browser. Just click that, and you'll get the option to either log in if you already have an account, or start a new subscription if you're a new user. Now what's interesting here is that Express actually uses its main desktop app to handle the login. So when you click login, it launches the app automatically and connects your account for you. And that's it. Once you're logged in, you're good to go. Next is NordVPN, and the setup is nearly identical. You'll go to the Nord site, click on the Chrome extension from the menu, and then install it just like you would with Express. But unlike ExpressVPN, Nord handles the entire login process right inside the browser. So you don't need to open up the desktop app for anything here, just sign in or create an account on the website, and you're all set to use the extension. And then Surfshark is the only one of the three that offers any kind of free functionality without a subscription. It won't give you full VPN access, but what it does include is something called CleanWeb, which blocks ads, trackers, and cookie pop-ups while you browse. To install it, you'll go to surfshark.com slash download slash Chrome and click through to the Chrome Web Store. Once installed, just click the Surfshark icon in your extensions and log in or create your account. And to turn on the CleanWeb feature, just click the Clean Web tab in the sidebar and hit Turn On. Now it's not as strong as Nord's threat protection or ExpressVPN's advanced protection, but it's a nice touch if you're just looking to cut down on the clutter while browsing. Now just a quick note here, while the Chrome extensions are great for protecting your browsing in Chrome specifically, they don't cover the rest of your system. So if you're using other browsers like Firefox or Edge, or if you're doing things like torrenting or streaming through dedicated apps, you'll probably want to stick with the full VPN app instead. That way you're protected across everything, not just your web browser. And the good news is, all three of these VPNs, Express, Nord, and Surfshark, offer full apps that support things like streaming and torrenting with no bandwidth limits to worry about. So unless you're just looking for lightweight ad blocking or basic browsing protection, using the full app is definitely the better way to go. So starting with ExpressVPN, one of the big things that stands out is how fast it connects. You're usually online in under a second which makes it feel really snappy compared to most other VPNs. It also has one of the strongest no logs policies out there. In fact, back in 2017, when one of their servers was seized during a government investigation, nothing was found because nothing was stored. That kind of track record gives a lot of confidence, especially if privacy is a priority. You also get access to over 3000 servers in 105 countries, and you can use it on up to 14 devices at the same time. The app itself is simple, clean, and very beginner friendly. There aren't a ton of advanced options, but you still get key features like a kill switch, split tunneling, and support for top tier protocols. So if you're looking for something that just works right away and keeps your browsing private, ExpressVPN is an excellent choice. Now NordVPN is gonna give you a little more under the hood. It's actually the fastest overall when it comes to raw download speeds especially if you're using their Nordlinks protocol. And it's great for things like streaming, gaming, and torrenting. They've got over 7,800 servers in 165 countries and support for up to 10 devices at once. Plus, you get a handful of advanced tools built right in, like threat protection, which blocks ads and malware, and specialty servers for double encryption, torrenting, or routing through the Tor network. So Nord is gonna be ideal for anyone who wants a full-featured VPN that doesn't feel limited. You get more power power user options, but without making things overly complicated. And then Surfshark is the most budget friendly of the three, and also the only one that lets you connect unlimited devices. So if you're sharing a subscription with family or switching between a bunch of devices, that can be a huge plus. Now it's not quite as fast as Express or Nord, but performance is still very solid. You get access to over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and the clean web feature is great for blocking trackers and pop-ups while you browse. It's a little more lightweight overall, but it's surprisingly capable. 
especially if you're trying to stay protected across a lot of different devices. So if you're trying to decide which one's best for you, hopefully this gave you a clearer picture of how each one works in Chrome and where they differ in terms of speed, privacy, and features. And again, if you want a deeper dive into how they perform for streaming, torrenting, or just everyday browsing, you'll find links to more detailed reviews down in the description, along with any current discounts or coupon codes if you want to check those out. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those down in the comments below. I always enjoy getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.